What if we told you that the universe is expanding into itself? The Big Bang is nothing like what we once thought it is. Astronomers and scientists have already proved that the universe is expanding. But they're totally confused as to where the universe is expanding into. Sometimes even the simplest questions will have the most complicated answers, like what could have happened before the Big Bang? If the universe is really expanding? If yes, what is it expanding into? The universe encompasses everything that we know today, all the way from the smallest atoms to the largest galaxies that we know ever since it was formed 13.7 billion years ago right after the Big Bang. When we talk about the universe right during the Big Bang, we imagine it to be an explosion with the spread of matter coming from a single point. But that's not what the Big Bang is. According to the American Museum of Natural History, the idea of the Big Bang first appeared in a 1931 paper written by Georges Le Maitire. The Big Bang theory is often used to broadly describe the mysterious primal event that resulted in the creation of the universe, and it is commonly envisioned as a tremendous explosion originating from a single point. But this is not what cosmologists mean when they refer to the Big Bang. It was not an explosion of any kind a person has ever witnessed because of which it's really hard for people to understand this concept altogether. The very first step to understanding Big Bang is by getting rid of an image analogous to a bomb explosion because that's not what happens in space. The Big Bang is an expansion of space and not into space. There is no center or edge to this particular explosion, which makes the Big Bang an entirely different concept. According to the theory, the early universe was extremely dense and hot. There was so much energy in the universe that during the very first few moments, the matter that we know today was not formed. But then the universe expanded rapidly to become less dense and cooled down over time. Once it started expanding, matter began to form and radiation began to lose energy. So within a few seconds the universe was formed out of a singularity that stretched across the space. The Big Bang is an attempt to explain how the universe was formed from a very tiny, dense state into what it is today. Yes, it does not give us any idea of what initiated the creation of the universe what existed before the Big Bang or if there is anything outside the universe. The most famous evidence for a Big Bang comes from the redshifts which is the observed stretching of light from distant galaxies. But that's the only source to support it so far. The spectrum and the distribution of the cosmic microwave background exactly matches the expectations of the hot Big Bang. The evolution of galaxies also improves upon the evidence for the finite age of the universe and the observed ages of stars exactly match up with the age of the universe deduced from the cosmic expansion. The large-scale distribution of galaxies displays a subtle rippling pattern that corresponds to the rippling of the acoustic waves in the Big Bang. The theory also suggests that there is no center for the universe. Every point in the universe is the same as every other point. Galaxies outside our own are moving away from us, and the ones that are farthest away are moving even faster. This means that no matter what galaxy you happen to be in, every galaxy is moving away from you. But galaxies are not moving through space, they're just moving in space. Confused? To put things into perspective, the universe has no center. Everything is moving away from everything else. Imagine a grid of space with a galaxy every million light years or so. This grid will stretch out over a long period of time so that galaxies are spread to twice the distance than before. So basically the galaxies are moving and expanding into infinity or even into itself. To understand all these, you could compare the universe to a loaf of raisin bread dough. When the bread rises and expands, the raisins move farther away from each other, but they are still stuck inside the dough. In the case of the universe, the galaxies are the raisins and most of these galaxies have moved away so fast that light has never reached the Earth. But luckily gravity is here to take control of things at the local level, and it is this gravity that keeps all the raisins or galaxies together. But there are astronomers who believe that the Big Bang theory is just another bunch of lies. Ever since astronomers and scientists proposed the Big Bang theory, Many skeptics have questioned and criticized the model because it violates the first law of thermodynamics which states that you cannot create or destroy matter or energy. Critics claim that the Big Bang theory suggests that the universe began completely out of nothing. But, the proponents of the Big Bang theory suggest that such criticism is totally useless. Firstly, the Big Bang does not address the creation of the universe but rather the evolution of it. The laws of science simply do not apply before the creation of the universe. 
Critics also suggest that the formation of stars and galaxies violates the law of entropy which suggests that systems of change became less organized over time. If you take a look at the early universe as completely homogeneous and isotropic, then the current universe shows signs of obeying the laws of entropy. Then we have some other astrophysicists and cosmologists who argue that scientists have misinterpreted evidence like the redshift of celestial bodies and cosmic microwave background radiation along with the absence of exotic cosmic bodies, that should have been a product of the Big Bang. The early inflationary period of the Big Bang appears to violate the rule that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Proponents of the Big Bang think otherwise. They believe that the theory of relativity simply does not apply before or during the Big Bang. As a result, there was no issue with traveling faster than the speed of light. Space itself can expand faster than the speed of light as it falls outside the domain of the theory of gravity. The Big Bang theory requires the existence of dark matter, which are mysterious particles that have never been observed in the laboratory despite several efforts to find them already in place. Multiple lines of evidence, especially observations derived from the motion of galaxies, show us that dark matter simply does not exist. Extremely sensitive experiments on Earth have failed to detect dark matter particles and if they ever existed, it would create a viscosity effect of galaxies which would prevent the existence of many long-lived groups of galaxies that are observed which means this theory is now far more complex and speculative than what it was before. In any expanding universe, an optical illusion would make objects at high redshift appear larger and dimmer, so their surface brightness, which is the ratio of apparent brightness to apparent area, would decline sharply with redshift. But based on the observations of thousands of galaxies, surface brightness is constant with distance, which is not something that you would expect in an expanding universe. With all the problems with the Big Bang, you cannot deny the fact that the theory has redefined the narrative of modern cosmology with a very bold declaration that our universe had a beginning and has a finite age, just like us humans. The finite age is defined by the evidence that the universe is expanding. Several skeptics who have been questioning the validity of the Big Bang model. Even then there are still several questions that need to be answered. Was there a time before the Big Bang? Will there be another Big Bang in the future? Will our universe expand forever? If yes, what is it expanding into? Is our universe finite or infinite? Do we have other universes parallel to ours? Well, all of these questions are thought-provoking even though we don't have any answers for them yet. For now, the Big Bang is our best explanation when it comes to understanding the creation of the universe as it checks all the boxes when it comes to the observational consistency that it offers and it will stay that way for the foreseeable future with different interpretations as we learn more about the cosmos until we observe an anomaly that the Big Bang cannot explain.